Hey everyone, welcome to section two, querying data with GraphQL, and the first video, which is introduction to GraphQL. What is GraphQL? GraphQL is a query language. It was created by Facebook in 2012 for internal use and was released to the public in 2015. GraphQL is an alternative to REST. Most of you are probably familiar with REST APIs, They've become the standard for companies that need to develop and deploy APIs, but GraphQL is a fairly new option companies are beginning to adopt. GraphQL makes it really easy for you to cherry pick data. When you write QL queries, which we will do together shortly, you get to specify exactly what data you want, and that's all you get back. Nothing unnecessary, and this means no overfetching. So here I am in the terminal, and you can see my app is already running. Now, in section one, anytime we went to the browser, we went to localhost 8000. If you've been paying attention to the terminal, you may have noticed that there is an extra URL down here, localhost 8000 underscore 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 GraphQL. Let's head over to the browser and check this URL out. This is where you can come to test out writing queries before adding them to your app. The best way to learn is by doing, so let's dive right into writing our first query together. Let's start by clearing all of this. And now to write our query, we're going to start with the word query. And we are going to call this plugins. What I want to do with this query here is try and get back the list of all the plugins that we have in our application. Now, if you know what you're looking for, obviously you can go ahead and type it in. Uh, you can also just hit letters on the keyboard and see what comes up. Alternatively, you can hit control C and that will bring up the list of everything that's available to you on that level. So what we're after here is all site plugin. Now, obviously you are totally free to go ahead and pause the video and play around with queries on your own, but the query I want to write and you are welcome to join me is this one here that we are writing right now. Inside here, let's hit Control C again. I'm looking for nodes. Okay, little angry red squiggly lines are telling us that we need to add curly braces. And in here, I want to add name. Okay, so you can see at each level there, there was a list of options for me to pick from, but I went ahead and just picked one thing from each. And that really highlights the cherry picking that I mentioned in the previous slide. So if we go ahead and run this, all we get back is exactly what I've said I wanted. Just one of the names of the plugins in the file and look at this data in our application. Um, so you can see here, some of these plugins are obviously internal to Gatsby itself. But if you scroll down, you might recognize some of these names that are coming through from our Gatsby config file. And you may uh, even notice this one here, which is the one we installed together in video four. Let's go ahead now and write another query. Okay, this query is query metadata. Let's hit control C. What I'm after this time is site. Site metadata. And then inside here we have, oh, we've got title. You may or may not recognize where this is coming from. If you don't, that's totally fine. I will tell you in a moment. All right, let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so you can see we've got two queries. We're gonna run metadata. And oh, look at that. So our data says title, starter blog, author. Hmm, hopefully if you couldn't remember before where this was coming from, you might recognize it now. Yours might say uh, something a little different to mine because you probably added your own content here. This is coming from, that's okay. Let's pop over to the text editor and I will show you. Okay, so here I am in Gatsby config. Well done if you remembered where it came from. Doesn't matter if you didn't. Uh, so we just wrote a query then that allowed us to pull in this data from the Gatsby config file. And obviously the plugin query we wrote was pulling in the names of these plugins as well and the internal plugins too. 